Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Anna and I'm a fiber artist and I want to tell you a little bit about what I do and why I love it. My love really lies in the raw wool. I love the hand processing, the cleaning, um, the smells of the sheep. I love raw wool because I get to learn about the different kinds of sheep, the different characteristics of their wool um, and the different colors. This wool is actually um, 22 pounds of merino wool. And merino wool is one of the softest, most well-known and fine fibers. It comes in this processed form called roving that is done industrially. So they take the wool and they line up all the fibers and it makes it easier for spinners and dyers to create a more consistent look. Ways to process wool. When I do it on my own, I actually use this device here. And this is called a drum carter. So I lay the wool on the tray, spin it, and it brings the wool on to the um, cloth. And then I'm able to take it off by sliding, um, I actually use a knitting needle through here, pulling the fibers, and then winding them off. When I spin, I have to move my feet to get the pedals going. And then I take my wool, and I take the roving um, and I just attach them and I let the twist stay in front of my fingers and then I slowly slide my hand back using my back hand kind of as a controller for how much wool is getting into the front hand. And it's just such a wonderful thing to spin. I also do a lot of felting, and felting is sculpting with the wool. So I dye it, and then I'm able to create three-dimensional things with it, whether that's felted soap or a felted necklace. This up here is my natural dyes, and I have different powders. Um, this is ground up marigold. This one is ground up um, bark from a tree. So some of the dyes um, that I have here I've collected myself. This is local sumac, but others I have had to buy from a company in Ontario called Maiwa. Natural dyes have been used for years and years and years and years. We know where the best reds come from in different, in different countries. So this company actually collects those dyes and you can buy them and use them here. These dyes are called acid dyes. Now, the only thing that's really acid about them is I use a really large tub of vinegar to set the dye into the protein fibers, which is, in this case, wool. Natural dyes can be used on cellulose, so plant, um, silk, um, flax, they all dye those. These dyes are specifically for protein fibers like wool, um, stuff that comes from alpaca, those sorts of things. And I have my 1970s crock pot that is entirely devoted to my dyes. And then I have my bucket of dyed wools that I use from and grab. And you can see all the colors. These are the leftovers that you can use and pull apart and then spin and felt with it what you want. This is a knitting machine. Um, so you've seen everybody hand knit it with two needles usually. This is kind of like dealing with each individual stitch at once. Um, I have my yarn threaded through the top here and kept under tension. And I have my stitches wound it on. And when I pull this across, it actually knits an entire row. And then another row. And I still have to cast on and cast off which means I have to start and finish. And if I'm doing a really wide project, that takes a very large amount of time. But in order to make money at something like knitting, you have to be able to um, figure out how to do it quicker. And this speeds up the process. Um, is used to weave cloth. So you have the fibers that come up and through these, which are called the heddles, and all the way to the front. Then I take a shuttle, and I actually press on a pedal, and some of these come up, bringing some of the yarns up, and then I throw this across over in the front. So, just, so when I step on the pedal, some of my yarns go up, and you can see that it's created a shed 
that I can actually just stick my hand right through. So that's when I throw my yarn across and then it creates cloth. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure to send me an email um, through my website, plumefiberarts.com.